G'day. In today's video, I'm doing a bit of a RAM upgrade. Now, Acer Aspire 3. With the model number, A315-2294UJ. Or if we look further down, we also have the model number, N19H1. Now this one will be getting a RAM upgrade, which should be pretty straightforward I'm expecting. So we'll take it one screw over here, two. Three. Out of focus, sorry. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And eleven. It's worth noting that all the screws bar two are the same size. These two here are longer. And that one doesn't want to leave. We'll try it with a pair of tweezers. There we go, we're out. And from there, I don't expect there to be a screw under here, so I'll ignore that for now. Uh, I've got a pry tool. Start in the front corner. Now I'm just using a metal one to begin with. Just putting it between the plastic layers, so along here in that seam. In, twist, switch to the plastic one from there, and just proceed around it while pulling it up just lightly. There we go. As you can see, we are now in. So while we're here, we'll have a bit of a look around the board. What else do we see here? Wireless card, daughter, uh, daughter flex connector going off to the USB ports. We have battery, which 36 watt hours is relatively small actually. Or well, 36 it's got on there in a different spot it says 3115 milliamp hours. Yep. So pretty small. Moving further along, we have van connected to the daughter board. So this section over here. These are replaceable if need be. As we can see, the battery is still on. So what I'm going to do from there, disconnect the battery, kill all power before the RAM upgrade. There we go. Now looking in here, if this got damaged, you could replace them just fine. Wireless connector, it does look like a DVD burner could have went in here once upon a time, or at least they used the same chassis for that. Moving along to here, check out the fan. Is there even anything that this fan is connected to? As we can see, it's all passively cooled over here. Then why the hell have they even bothered putting a fan in? Hopefully lifting it up will reveal its secrets. What a pointless fan. <laughs> it's blowing air out. It's Barely cooling the system. That is an absolute waste. Granted being an A processor, it's probably only using 25 watts of power, maybe 15. Proceeding along the system. Got the CPU under here, or APU under here. Looking closer, we see the RAM, which is a single four gig of DDR4. And then further down here, I'll rotate this perspective. Hopefully I can get it in focus. There. 
We have a Western Digital 256 NVMe. That's at least kind of nice. Also have the CMOS battery here. And another loudspeaker down here. Looking along this side of it, we have the display cable over this section up here. So that is replaceable. Anyway, let's do what we were planning on doing, which is upgrading the RAM. This instance, I'm putting a single eight gig stick of 26.6 in there. I'm not sure what the existing RAM is right now. All you really need to do to do that is push these tabs out here and here, flick it up. As you can see, we're on a bit of an angle there. Then you should just be able to pull it out and reveal this gold section along here. That's one stick of RAM removed. Next up, the reinstallation. One thing to do note when you're installing RAM in a system, this little notch here should match up with here. If you're looking at it and you're like that, it's obviously not gonna go in. So what we're gonna do is put it in on a 45 degree angle, like so, and then simply push down in the two corners. You should hear it click when you push down. You would have seen that flick up just there. Same with over here. RAM is now reinstalled. So next up from here, we need to plug the power in, pull it back, pull it forward, push, and that's now reconnected. Then from there, the RAM is reinstalled. Now what I want to do is put the back cover back on, which doesn't have any cutouts or anything like that, since the sides go down over here and all around it. So all we should have to do is lay it over the top. Yep, in, in, all good, fans in, still attached. Simply put this over. Should be able to just push down all around it. Just like so. Then remember where the two long screws went, which were hinge corner. Typically larger screws are used in the hinges. Another screw here, over in the other corner. And from there, all you're gonna have to do is put the remainder of the screws in. All of them are the same length, so there's no need to worry about where they came from. One thing I'd recommend if you've never installed RAM before is to, before you put the bottom cover back on, tilt it up on its side and just hit the power button. Make sure it will boot into Windows. If it turns on and goes straight to a black screen, then your RAM is either installed incorrectly or isn't compatible with the system. Another thing to think of, this is a AMD processor and it doesn't have the option for uh, the dual channel memory since it's only got a single slot with no soldered on RAM. So that does mean it would lose on about 10% performance or potentially up to 10%. So that is a bit disappointing on Acer's part. But anyway, that's now one Acer Aspire 3 with upgraded RAM. I hope this helps and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Also, don't forget to wear a mask.